Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoors, Three, and we're doing two, another one. unboxing video. Here we go! Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoors, and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to speak to Coswell real quick. This is a new company that we're working with, and their products are really cool. But Coswell, I'll put your brand out here. This is such a big billboard for you and a lot of your competitors have your their bikes and says their brand and you, social media and stuff like that and i think there's a missing opportunity here i've looked at your website and i'll put it in the description below for you that are watching there's a big missing opportunity when this is being shipped to people's houses and stuff they can actually see the customer what they got and there's a lot of people that are nosy and want to see what their neighbors have and stuff but very big miss opportunity right here so I would suggest if I was uh, a, the owner of this company to put your brand out here and social media and everything else and tell your customers that you're going to be here for a while. So saying that, now let me talk to the viewers. Viewers, thank you for watching the channel. Uh, Coswell, this is the C220S and it's got a 27 and a half amp hour battery. It should go about 100 miles at 28 miles per hour. This is more of a scooter type bike, uh, very vintage looking. It does say it's a mountain bike. And this is really neat. It's a neat bike. I'm not 100% on how comfortable it is or how hard it is to put together. So we're going to put this together. We're going to take it for a ride and let's see if we like it or not. So let's dig in. So we right out the gate. We've got 20 inch tires. They're not super aggressive. This is more of more of a, uh, a street bike. It's very unique bike because of the fact that um, the battery is like this tube once you slide it out. So you're probably going to need a knife and some wire cutters. You got plastic fenders, which is normal. Let's see here got a little carrying case in the, where usually the battery would be it's kind of cool <clears throat> just trying to see how they got all this put in here never worked with this company before but um, their stats look that's pretty cool headlight their stats look really great um, one thing that I'm always concerned with with a bike that doesn't have an adjustable seat because I'm six foot, 200 pounds, how comfortable the bike is gonna be. Because you can't adjust the seat. And I've interviewed tons of people that, that buy these type of bikes and just asking them questions. And a lot of times they don't even pedal these type of bikes. They just, they just give it gas. But uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is go in and cut off the rest of these and we'll be right back. I'll get all this kind of cleaned up and then we'll put this bike together. It looks pretty simple. You gotta put the handlebars, the front tire. It's full suspension, which is kind of cool. Don't know how comfortable that seat is, but we'll get into it. I'll be right back. All right. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Let me see, where's those cutters? So, and just get, got really excited about getting inside this, but I do want to tell you some stats why I'm cutting this stuff off. So it's got a giant, uh, 27 and a half amp hour battery inside here. It slides out the back, which is super unique. It's got a little cage here with all your um, your little electronics. That's a 1500 watt rear motor, which typically the bikes that you're gonna get are 750. It's got a 2000 peak. It's heavy, I'm 113 pounds. It's got a big motor, big battery. It's got turn signals. Uh, this thing could be street legal. Hydraulic brakes, which are outstanding. More of a cheaper um, shifter, but um, it's got keys to it. Let's get into this real quick. So when you first get your e-bike, any e-bike, always just put on your um, handlebars first. This stuff is like aluminum. They're not super hardened screws. So you can break these. I've, one of the biggest issues people have with putting these on themselves is when you break one of these inside, you know, in the thread, you're having to replace both housings. You know what I mean? Which kind of sucks. And uh, these companies are in China, Hong Kong, stuff like that. It's, it might take 30 days for you to get this, your product. So you, right here, you've got these little uh, grooves in the pipe and that's gonna just bite. Um, let's see here, come on. So 
I'm going to try to get this going here and we can adjust everything later. All we're trying to do, don't tighten just one down, get the screw on and you can tighten everything down later. But right now we're just trying to get it to hold itself. Here you go. I'm trying to get this little appropriated area in the center. And we can adjust this back and forth what we're comfortable with later. We're just getting this on here. Tighten this up. All right, I want to tighten these back up and we'll be right back. All right, I'm going to plug back this little cord because I took it off. There we go. So now, well, let's put these on, the little turn signals. All right, let's cut this. All right, so it looks like we've got where they clamp on both sides and then you can tighten everything up on the back and you know what but if you did put them on wrong you can unplug these and switch them I would imagine because we'll put an R and an L on these for your unless they're on here and I'm not seeing them uh, it would just make it easier for your consumer to put these on so you're just going to take these off just like this and there we go I would assume, there we go, like that. It's got this little clip. So you get on here like that. And the shocks are on the bottom, so you don't have to worry too much about that right here. So we are gonna tighten this up. If you do have your own tools, it does come with tools, but anything with ratcheting would be freaking perfect. Let's see, this is a great tool. I'm gonna find a, it can be a great tool. Boom, got it. We'll tighten this up. All right. And then we'll need to tighten this up here. Such a neat tool. All right. So that's done, we'll have to do the other side. Sit here and tighten this up. Try not to use a drill, guys. The stuff right here will break. And if you do use a drill, just use a, um, put it on the lightest setting. Alrighty, now let's tighten this up. Boom, so we've got the headlights working. Make sure we tighten all of that up. And then we've got a, a wonder, hmm. Oh, that'll go inside here. Okay, because I was thinking like the headlight, like what are we doing with this? But that's gonna go inside here. So it looks like we're gonna have to take these little screws off, leave the rubber on the inside for a vibration. It's this little Phillips head right here. So we have to take all this plastic off too. Just always go left, screw it left real quick, just so you're not cross-threading. There we go, gotcha. Um, all right, we'll take the other side off. Boom. There we go. All right, all right, got a little bigger screwdriver. I'm gonna bend this a little bit. I can get because it seems like it's going into angle and then there I think I might have got it all right I think I got it now Alrighty. bending it a little bit helped so it's not going in there sideways there we go and then we'll adjust this is that blue so you do do blue to blue. It's got this little, it'll have arrow to arrow, or you can line up this little knot here, boom. 
All right, so now we'll put on the front tire and the uh, tire guard, <laughs> this thing here, and uh, we'll be able to test ride it. Hopefully it's charged. Oh, yeah, the, the tread on this thing is, is unique. It's more of a car tire tread versus like an aggressive tire. What I like about this is it's got that quick release. This thing is crazy heavy. It's like a plastic, maybe aluminum. It might be aluminum. That's just a lightweight. All right. Man, that's huge. Do you see that? This is gonna be, oh, get this little plate off. Here we go. That little plate that goes between your brakes. So um, when you push this, it'll collapse the piston. Keeps it open so you can put the caliper on it. The caliper's that, I'm sorry, the brake disc. All right, let's figure this thing out. This is gonna be a pain. I think keeps turning on me. If you turn this upside down, you could damage this stuff. So you don't wanna do that. Get the tire in there. All right, you got the brakes on. Be nice if it could just rest on something. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna try putting the this on just a little bit. All right, so we're on there. Dude, this is like a two-man job. Whew. Come on. I got it. All right. Oh. Man. All right, I'm not in. I've just got it in just a little bit. Come on. Go in. Come on, buddy. Gotcha. All right. Whew. She's in. Ugh. So let's hit the kickstand. That seems loose, don't it? It is loose. We gotta tighten these up. Always keep your eye on that. Just don't assume how loose that is. We'll tighten that up in a little bit. All right. Tighten this up. It's got screws that are here that once you get this all tightened up, just make sure you tighten these up as well. All right, I wanna show you something. Once you've got this tight, you tighten this up. Just like that. Make sure this is facing straight up. Don't face it out this way. Cause if anything hits it, it'll unloosen your axle and potentially can make this go out. So now we gotta tighten these up. Well, all right. Tighten these up. We'll do the other side and then let's tighten up that uh, kickstand and then we'll put the foot pegs on. We gotta put this on. To be honest with you, um, cost wheel, it doesn't have to be that complicated. I guess the issue is, is where to mount it on the frame on the top. Yeah, this is it's a lot going on here. So it comes in the bag, it comes with these two little screws and that goes into here. So let's work on this, figure it out. Slide that in there. We'll bring that down. And then those go here. Okay. This plastic piece goes from here and then you just screw it in to here and it clamps everything together. Like everything is held together. That's kind of cool, I think. With the same one, yeah. So, I mean, that's neat, I like that. This is all one piece. Boom. All right, I'm gonna do the other side, then we'll go take care of the um, kickstand. Alrighty, boom. Hopefully this is the right one, it is. Tighten it down. Both of them are loose, there we go. Alrighty, so that's put on. Let's put on these uh, foot pegs and uh, then we'll look at the um, LCD screen, figure out how this the whole thing works and then we'll take it for a ride. Alrighty. Prohibited disassembly. It'll avoid warranty, so don't go inside there at all. But they do give you plenty of room here for, they actually make a really neat uh, little bag that goes in there. I'm just curious how comfortable that seat is. So you're gonna have an R and an L. 
and that's rider's left and rider's right. So this is gonna be your left. And it actually says how you tighten it because it's weird. It's not righty tighty, lefty loosey. This one here is lefty tighty. The other one's righty tighty. So like right now, which feels weird, but I'm tightening this up right now. And this little tool, I believe this is a 15 if you don't wanna use this tool. And get a good tight lockdown on that. You don't want that coming off while you're in the, uh, in the woods. And then this one is gonna be righty tighty. So we'll get this put on and uh, I'll be right back. Before we uh, go to the LCD screen, kind of play with that stuff, this is a unique way they do the battery. It's inside here and it can be pulled out and charged. So let's look at it real quick. So if you wanna charge it, you can slide this up and you charge it from the back back here or you can take this out as well. It does come with keys like this and put this in and you turn this way. And then you can slide, there it is. Oh my God, what in the, <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this. this, this is huge. It goes all the way to the end. This is 27, almost 28 amp hour. That is crazy. All right, that locks in. Should take about five hours to charge, five, four to six hours to charge. Um, wow, that is crazy. I'm sure this has got brake lights and tail lights and stuff like that. Turn signals. Oh, you could even put a um, license plate on here. It does go 28 miles per hour, but let's get into this. I got there's keys and it looks like there's more keys up on the front too. So let's check it out. Boom. All right, let's see. Is everything plugged in? This is right. Three, four, five. I have to read the manual. I'm not sure how to, oh, 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 oh. I know what I'm doing wrong. It's this. So we'll have to turn it on like a motorcycle. Ah, they're backwards. Look at that. Dang. That's bright. So I did put them on backwards. That is neat, kind of a Jeep vibe. We'll see if we can fix that. See if there's an easy way. So we'll turn that off. Boom. All right, so, oops. Let's bring this down to about right there. Freaking cool. So we got pedal assist one, two, three, four, five. So five is the most. Um, we got a high beam. Is there, I guess it stays high beam, is it? One, two, three, okay. So you can turn it off and then one, two, three. So that's cool. And then one, two, three, four, five, all right, so holding the negative or the negative down doesn't do anything. All right, so we've got one minute time. Uh, miles per hour is 52. Average is five miles. I haven't ridden it at all. Um, let's just hold this down. All right, so that doesn't do anything. Comes charged, which is awesome. Let's try the plus and minus real quick. The exact same time. So we got display, advance, and information. Can you see any of this stuff? I want to make sure that you can see it. I'm going to get you as close as possible. So I just hit the plus and minus. There we go. So we've got toggle, the wheel size. It's not a 26. And these, are these 26s? I think these are 20s. Yeah, these are 20s. So let's change that to 20s. Speed limit. Can I make this go faster? So 39 is the highest. So we'll keep it at that. Voltage is 60, that's right. Lumens, sensitivity, I don't know, off. So five. Uh, so this will turn itself off after five minutes. Let's go back. Advanced settings. Um, sensor, slow start. You can do a password, that's kind of cool. Information. So if you have this information for your uh, like warranty type stuff and then exit. All right. Well, cool. And then here's your, uh, if you're wanting to like shift or anything, uh, we need to tight move these. 
but they get a little bit. This is, woo, don't want to do that. Let's turn it off. I do need to fix those, but this is a throttle and hydraulic brakes, which are awesome. Uh, let's see if we can fix those because I got them backwards. Let's see if we can fix the, uh, the headlights real quick. So their turn signals are flashing wrong. So this one, pop this off. Come on, there we go. And this one, there we go. So this one goes over here now. I don't know, this one will go over here. That should fix it. Let's just double check. I gotta turn this on, flip this back so I can see. All right, turn signals. Yep, so right side, left side. Okay, we fixed it. Just, if you get these wrong, just swap these. That's crazy bright. I just think that is insane. Can you see me? All right, let's get this thing um, cameraed up. Let's take it on the road and see how it does. I'll tell you what, this is a like heavy bike. Like it's, I'm saying this as like, it is freaking solid. This is, oh, it ain't light. Um, I think it's 13, 113 pounds. I mean, it's solid. This is a great bike. And I don't think I've told y'all but this is like a $2,500 bike. This ain't cheap. It's got a 1500 uh, watt uh, rear motor with a 2000 peak. And like I said, 27 amp hour, plus 27 and a half amp hour battery. So it should take you roughly about a hundred miles. It says a hundred, I think 20 amp hours I've gotten. I'm just concerned how comfortable this is gonna be. I think 20 amp hours I've done, uh, just give it a little bit of throttle. Um, I got this on pedal assist one, um, 55, so 27 could give me about 60, 65. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this pedal assist one, see how fast it goes, pedal assist two, see how fast it goes, and then uh, three, four, and five, and then we'll try full throttle and uh, so on and so forth. We'll just kind of go through the gears and see how well it performs. I like this bike. There's, it, it, like I said, it's $2,500. This could have been better. This throttle is, I'm okay with it. Hydraulic, it, it's, there's some nice stuff on it. I'm not gonna bust it too hard. Uh, right here is gonna tell you what your voltage are, is. I like that because you can actually do your best to make this battery last longer. So. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle. We're gonna start with pedal assist one right here. Alrighty, let's do it. What I've noticed, I'm gonna turn the lights on. Well, I'm gonna turn it off. You can't see that. So pedal assist one, it's about 10 miles per hour. Um, so we're on pedal assist two. get this on gear seven 15 miles per hour you see the wattage we're using hopefully you can see that so pedal assist three wow this is fast i'm starting the ghost pedal at three so I'm not a hundred on how that's gonna feel uh, on five. Right now, it's just super loose. All right, there's four. Yeah. I'm just ghost pedaling right now. I'm freaking flying, it's insane. I'm going up a slight hill. It's using a lot of power right now. Then we'll go to five. Come on. I'm doing a ton of power. Slow it down. Wow. 
That is crazy. Let's get out of everybody's way for a second. Yeah, after um, after three, you're not pedaling. It's all ghost pedaling from there. And I just learned that from you guys in the comments, what that is. Because what I was saying is you just don't feel it. There's no there's no pressure at all. I'm on seventh gear. Uh, some people have said change that uh, tooth to a 30 tooth and you'll feel it. Wow, this is fast, dude. Uh, 28 miles per hour. Let's um uh, right now we're gonna do uh, let's put it all the way down to one. And now we're just gonna do throttle and just see what it can do. Sometimes it just gives you everything. Sometimes it will give you little bits. So I do one, it'll give you a little bit, two, a little bit more. So let's just see what that looks like. But look, I mean, this is massive. This is big. All right, so let's get it on one. Yep, that's what it's gonna do. I'm coming all the way back in the seat. I wanted you to see that because I'm I'm six foot and uh, it's coming up to my, st see how high that is? You can't adjust the seat. So it says nice that you can come all the way back or if you're a shorter person, you come a little bit closer. Uh, a lot of these people that get these type of bikes, they don't get them to pedal. This is like fashion, it's beautiful bike. But yeah, what I love about it is we're on one right now and it's only giving me 10. So uh, hopefully you can hear that motor. It's a little bit noisy. So one was 10, two was 15. So three is at 22. Wow. Let's see what this does. I'm at five right now. Going up a slight hill. Give it a second. There we go. Now we're flattening out. We're freaking screaming. This is crazy. Wow. Got turn signals. thing is crazy boom boom all right so this bike is fun this is a lot of fun it's got I mean torque this is a fun bike I don't know I, I didn't really have any issues with the the seat hurting my butt I imagine long distance it would uh um hurt my butt a little bit it's nice that i can come back companies that make these i need you to listen to me real quick this was super smart I, i've ridden these bikes you can't adjust these for tall people the only way you can adjust it is you slide back and i think that's extremely smart cost well was that's super smart the way you did it because i had to sit all the way back here my butt was back here for this to be comfortable having this stabbing up into my stomach Riding is not comfortable. A lot of people have said in the comments that when they buy these bikes, they don't really ride them or cycle them. They just do throttle. This thing is fun. It's a lot of fun. It's like, again, 24 and some change, 2,500 bucks. The battery is all inside here, which is crazy. This isn't storage. Don't go inside there, but they do make these little things inside there. But yeah, I approve this bike. I like it. It has a, a tail light, turn signals, headlight. Uh, it even has a little white bar. Um, I'm gonna show you. Well, it's a little white bar. Let me show you. So it lights up your if you want to uh, register it, uh, I'm gonna show you real quick. Yeah, there's a little white bar right there so you can, if you wanted to put a license plate or something like that on it, which is neat. I like it. I like everything about it. It says it's a mountain bike. I disagree. The suspension's not, uh, doesn't travel very well, but for a street bike or commuter, just an all around fun bike. So appreciate it. If you like videos like this, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell. We try to do adventure videos every uh, Saturday. Can't promise I do that every time I, I do work, uh, other job, but I do love, 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 love this bike. I think it's awesome. Um, I appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all next time.